Hey loves, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marky. If you're new here, thank you for clicking this video. I hope that this video is inspiring or touches you in a way that it can help or benefit you. So yeah, today's little video is just a message. It's another daily devotional. I posted one already today, but it was for yesterday. But thanks to one of my subscribers and now my friend Lori, who also has a YouTube channel, so I highly recommend that you go check her out. I'll put her little thing right in here. Hi, Lori. Um, she's just been a wonderful friend to me and positive reinforcement. She's very, very positive and happy, and she practices, you know, living your best. So, and I just... She requested or suggested that I do a daily devotional, like that I do this daily and that I share with you guys what I already do by myself daily. Every day I read from this book. My my bookmark is shedding. Um, and it's my From Faith to Faith devotional that, again, my mother left me before she passed away. So it's very special to me. And I just wanted to reiterate that every time I read whatever date it is, I'll look up the date and I read it. It's as if I have never read it before. Like, that's what it is. And I've read this book literally from front to cover. Front to cover? <laughs> from front to back. Cover to back? I don't know. I've uh, I've read the entire thing a um, hundred, if not more, times. And every time that I go to that, whatever certain date I'm looking for, um, it's as if I have never seen it before. And not only that, it is something in some way, shape, or form that is directed towards me and what I'm going up, what I'm going through in my life. And it's always, it's always spot on. And that is how I know, my friends, that is God. Because that's how God works. So, another one, another thing I want to say is um, I got a really, really sweet comment. And I'll put it right here. It's from a girl named Jess. Jess B. She has a YouTube channel, too. I'll put her channel right here. Um, her comment really touched me. Uh, she said... Something like, I just love you, Marky, and um, that she wasn't a believer, that she didn't believe in God or whatever, but that she got something out of my message, and I was really happy about that. Like, that touched me, and that made me happy, and that gave me the, I don't know, it gave me the reassurance and the incentive that I'm going to keep doing this, and... No matter if you believe or you don't believe, you take what you can from it. You you know, take what you will. And if you can't, if all of it doesn't benefit you, then, you know, take what you can and leave the rest. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. I, I talk too much. Okay, you guys. So, after three minutes, we're going to talk. Um, no, we're not going to talk. <laughs> we're going to jump into today's daily devotional. So today is March 19th, and as you all know, the world is still dealing with the coronavirus, and it's scary, scary times. So today's message is titled, Stand Against the Devil's Strategies, and today's March 19th. All right, so the scripture for today is, leave no room or foothold for the devil. Give no opportunity to him. Ephesians 4, 2, 7. I like it. That's right, girl. Put that devil under your foot. Leave no room. All right. Today is a stand against the devil's strategies. If you give the devil place, he will take it. You have to stay alert and keep your shield of faith high. Because if you don't, he'll turn around and steal back from you the ground you just took. Burn. There have been people who have received their healing and have fallen back into their old thinking patterns of sickness. They let their faith down and gave the devil an opening. When he came along with an old symptom, they weren't ready for him. They fell victim to his counterattack. I can relate. You can, you can stand successfully against the devil's strategies, but before you do, you're going to have to make three quality decisions. First, you must make the word of God the final authority in your life. 
line up your thinking with whatever the word says. Amen. Next, you must decide to live by faith in what God has said. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You gotta hear y'all. Finally, you must decide to live by love of God because faith works by love. Without love, your faith won't function. Without the word, you can't have faith. So don't try to make one of these decisions without the other two. You need to make all of three of them. The lifestyle of the word, faith, and love keeps you in a place of resistance to the devil. I suggest you get alone with God and pray. In the name of Jesus, I commit myself from this day forward to live by the word of God, to live by my faith, and to live by the love of God. Decide today to give the devil no place. Peace, devil. Scripture reading, John 15, 7, 12. Okay. So, like Jess said, you can, you can take from this, even if you're not a believer. The devil. Coronavirus. The coronavirus is the devil. Bad things are the devil. Because bad comes from evil, you know? And... We don't want that in our lives, right? We want happiness. We want joy. We want peace. We want prosperity. So we've got to take that devil and put him where he belongs. Leave no room for him. Don't let him even slip in a little bit. Not even this much. Because if you give him an inch, that devil will take a mile. All right? Believe me. Been there. Done that. Still go through it. So today choose to put him in his place. And don't let him even have the chance to rob you any longer. All right, y'all. I hope today you got something out of this message. Sorry for all my rambling. I love you guys. I will be back tomorrow. That's exciting. I'm excited to do this. I'll be back tomorrow with another message. And I think you guys stay safe, stay smart, y'all. And leave some toilet paper for other people, all right? All right. I love you. Bye. Subscribe. <laughs>